Tukurejelea swala la elimu ni kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza ime, ama ina mipango ya kuajiri walimu 1020 zaidi ili kufikia mwezi ama kufikia mwezi Januari mwaka 2025. Rais Lemu Ruto amesema hatua hiyo inalenga kuangazia changamoto zinazokabili sekta ya elimu hususan tangu kuwasisiwa kwa mfumo wa mtaala wa milisi ukipenda CBC. Amesema serikali yake tayari mawajiri wa walimu 1056 kufikia sasa katika juhudi za kupiga dafrau baadhi ya changamoto hizo kulingana na Ruto sekta elimu ilikabiliwa na janga kufikia mwaka 2022 huku ikiwa haijabainika namna mpito kuelekea CBC utakavyofanywa ameongezea kuwa kufikia wakati huo kulikuwa na uhaba wa walimu 1011 na vyuo vikuu vya umma 23 kati ya 40 vikikaribia kufilisika na kukabiri kukabiliwa kufungwa miongoni mwa vyuo hivyo ni pamoja na chuo kikuu cha Nairobi kile cha Kenyatta Moi Egerton Masano na chuki kuu cha Masinda Mliro. Hata hivyo rais amesema mfumo mpya wa ufadhili wa wanafunzi wa vyuo vikuu na taasisi za, za elimu za juu mwinchini na ulioanzishwa na serikali yake umebadili mambo katika vyuo vikuu na kuviepushia hatari ya kufungwa. Honorable members, by 2022 the education sector was in a crisis with a lack of clarity in transition to the competence based curriculum. A shortage of 110,000 teachers and 23 out of 40 public universities were technically bankrupt and at risk of closure. Among those facing severe challenges were huge institutions such as my own alma mater, University of Nairobi, Kenyatta University, Moi University, Egerton University, Maseno University, Masinde Muliro University. To address this issue in our education sector, we have already hired, as you know, members, 56,000 teachers and are in the process of recruiting another 20,000 by January next year. We have also ensured the seamless transition of learners from primary to junior secondary and domiciled grades 7, 8, and 9 in primary school, optimizing the use of existing infrastructure, ensuring the safety of young learners and protecting parents from the high costs associated with boarding schools far away. Recognizing the financial challenges faced by our universities and TVET, we introduced a new student-centered higher education funding model. This model gives priority to the most vulnerable students, offering them up to 95% government support, while also pulling our universities back from the brink of collapse the remaining challenges for a few universities like moi university are related to internal administrative and governance issues which i have given firm instructions that they should be addressed to further enhance access to higher education we launched the open university of kenya and this house approved that exercise paving the way for more students to achieve their academic goals the institution's first cohort of students is scheduled to graduate next week on the 29th of november 